So we have everything ready to um, get the control arm into place on the left side. As you can see, the inner lower ball joint is uh, in place, although it's not fully um, um, tightened the nut. It is just to sort of like help with the uh, with controlling the direction where the control arm is going. Then the next step we need to lubricate the end that is going into the bushing over there. So the bushing rubber at the end of control arm needs to be lubricated. I'm going to use both uh, this rubber care lubricant. Hopefully this is going to stay for a little bit longer. It's not drying as quickly. But then uh, it's not as slippery as it should. So I'm going to also use the uh, dishwasher, dish uh, soap, dishwashing soap uh, and on the end and on the, on the rubber. And then when we have the control arm uh, close to the to the bushing I'm going to use the spring compressor uh, at the end of the bushing I'm going to put this piece of steel uh, that will prevent from the core this rubber core to be pushed out when I push the, uh, the control arm in so this is going to be at the end of the uh, of the bushing here and here the control arm, this part of the control arm will be attached to this part of the, uh, of the, of the spring and then I will try to get the spanner to drive everything in, in place. I'm not sure if I'm going to show this on the, on the video because it's quite, uh, it's, it's, it's not enough space here to, to do it but that's basically the principle of, uh, of, of, of getting it in.
so here you can see the control arm being dragged up being driven into the into the bushing um, the inner lower ball joint is supporting the uh, control arm on the subframe you can still see there is a gap here that needs to go almost all the way all the way in and here is our spring compressor that I'm using to get the control arm into the into the bushing. Here it is attached on this piece of metal. So the core is not being pushed out. So that's that's basically how it how it works. As soon as the holes in the ball joint align with the hole with the subframe, I'm going to put the screw in. So that is still still a little bit a little bit off. Slide the control arm into the bushing as long as the holes are not aligned with the subframe. When this happens, uh, we will put the screws through the ball joint into the subframe and uh, first get them loosely in. Then it's important to make sure that the control arm. Um, is sitting in the in in the position that the holes are aligned perfect, and then we need to tighten the screws uh, between the ball joint and subframe fully. Let's look from the different angle. Uh, so here it is, control arm inside the bushing, its final position. There is a little gap there. Uh, and the end of the control arm needs to be flush with the end of the of the bushing. That is that means that the control arm is uh, in its uh, final uh, final position and obviously the final position is determined by the uh, lower inner ball joint um, holes 
and screws that torqued to 100 newton meters and a bolt joint to control arm is torqued to 80 newton meters and here it is uh, all is um, done <laughs>